Now we're going to learn about the morph transition. This is like the coolest thing that I've seen in PowerPoint besides the 3D stuff, okay? This is what the morph transition is. It's a new transition element called morph and it takes something from one slide. You duplicate the slide, it takes that object, you move it and then it animates it for you. Okay, let me, let me show you what I mean. So on this slide here, I've got a blue circle, just a plain object. I'm going to duplicate the slide. Now, a quick way to duplicate, you can either just select the slide here and control D on your keyboard, okay, control D, or right click, remember, right click anything and you'll see stuff, duplicate slide. So now I've got two slides, slide number one, slide number two. Slide number two, I'm going to take this, I'm going to move my circle into the middle, the center of my slide. There it is there. I'm going to make it bigger as well. Oh, wrong way, there we go. Done. So I've got the starting point, the end point. And on my second slide, where I want the transition to take place, I choose Morph. And Morph is going to give me a preview as well. Watch. How cool is that? Super awesome. So that is what the move transition does. And you can also dictate how long it takes. So it's like any slide transition. It's just going from one slide to the next, but you dictate how uh, long it can take, what you want to animate. So if you had another object, for example, I'm going to, um, I'm going to insert a shape here, just like another shape. I'll do a square. Okay, so there's a square over there. I'll just give it a different color just so it stands out. There you go. That's a beautiful orange right there. I'm just going to copy that shape, put it onto the next one. Now, the reason I just copied and pasted is because it has to be the same object, the same object on, this, on the other slide. That's just how it works. So, for example, if I just move that into the middle, pop that up there. That there. Okay, so watch what's going to happen from this slide into that slide using the transition tool of Morph. That is so cool. Uh, let me show you another uh, implementation of that. So here we have two objects. I have my background of the road going off into the distance and a car that I took online. So I'm going to put the car down here and I want this car to like drive off into the distance. So, you know, earlier before the morph transition came along, it would take a lot of clever animating to do this. But now we just duplicate our slide, control D, go to our second slide. I'm going to take the car and I'm going to make it a lot smaller. Okay, but he's not going to be in the mountains. I'm going to make him drive off there. Maybe even a little bit more like really far. Cool. Uh, about there. That looks pretty good. And watch, I'm going to apply the morph transition. There's transitions. Morph. Watch what happens. How cool was that? Check out that. That's so cool. And that's how easy it is to use the morph transition. All right, go for it.